Hello, my lovely people. Good morning to you. And how are you doing? Welcome to God's Love You channel. If it is your first time of coming across this platform and you like what I do here, kindly subscribe. Put on your notification bell to so all notification. This is very, very important. It will enable you to know when I upload a new video in this platform. What do we do here? We react to all forms of videos, local, international, what is happening in Nigeria. So if you want to be enjoying this content, kindly subscribe. My amazing people, I have come to react to another video. We are going to listen to the video, but before that, let me tell you what you are about to watch. I watched this video and I agreed with what just my sister said. You know, sometimes people hate people because of what maybe the person have done before or because the person do not believe in what you believe. Life is not all about that. Democracy allows everybody to have their own opinion in some certain issue. Despite the fact that this our sister did something, but that doesn't, if she speak the truth, I will bring it. So... You see what is going on in Lagos State, how they are demolishing the, 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 the buildings or properties of the Igbos. So, this my sister said now that the governor of Abia State is planning to make um, Abia State more better than Lagos State. We are going to hear from her before I continue what I am saying. Let's go. Information reaching me right now is that Abia State is set to overtake Lagos State and Abuja when it comes to development. Like Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, is set to humble Lagos, like humble Lagos, like make Lagos a boy, like reduce Lagos to nothing. Alex Oti is ready to take Abia to a greater height. Abia State is not going to be like Lagos or Abuja, no. Abia State is going to be like Dubai. That is the dream of Alex Oti. I hope this comes to. The vision is that Abia State should be like Dubai. And that is why Abia State will be having 247 electricity. Every visionary leader makes electricity and good road his top priority. And I am happy Alex Oti is throwing this part. Abia State deserves the best because Abia people have actually suffered. Ndaba this man here ruined Abia State. Oji Zokalo governed Abia State for eight years. Okay, see, as eight years. To know that Oji, eight years. What did they do with Abia potential? Nothing. Do you know we have great men and women, talents in Abia State? Go to Abia and see what they are doing with their bare hands. All they need is electricity and good road. And Abia, Abba will be the best will be the Japan of Africa, but this man will ruin Abia State, will ruin the talent in Abia State. Ojo Sokalo is now a senator, jumping up and down. What did he do with the eight years they gave him to be the governor of Abia State? Nothing. He messed it up. Now he's in the Senate, doing nothing. When I mean doing nothing, doing nothing. Ojo Sokalo, the eight years they gave you to be the governor of Abia State, what did you do with it? Nothing. Oh, and what are you doing in the Senate? He to sacrifice. What are you doing in um, the Senate? Oboroko, I mean, okay, Zimbazu. The eight years they gave you to be the governor of Abia State, what did you achieve with it? This is the governor that said he was going to give five five hundred naira to pregnant women. How shameful! How disgraceful! Governor Tioda Oji, the world already know that all you do in the Senate is to sleep, while away time and lazy around. What did you do with the eight years you were given to be the governor of Abia State? You wasted it. Ojo Zokalo, are you not aware that Abia State, the people of Abia are talented, great people with talent and zeal? Are you not aware of this? I know you know, but you intentionally allowed Abia State to almost collapse before your eyes. But I am happy that things are going to turn around. People that understand what good governance is all about, is about to make things happen in Abia State. Okay, Z Bazu. By now, I don't need to tell you that you are a total disgrace to what a governor should be. You are a disgrace. As disgraced as you are, you even openly said on the national television that you were going to give 500 naira to pregnant women. Okay, Z Bazu was asked, as a governor, what have you achieved in Abia State? He said it's Dominion Pizza and Oba Joint and Mr. Biggs. That was what this man answered. 
the former governor of Abia State. Do you now understand that these guys actually ruined Abia State? They ruined Abia State. They reduced Abia State to nothing. Shameful. Eight, eight years for each of them. Calculate it. Add it up. Eight, eight years. They finished Abia State. If Abia can have 247 electricity, I will be glad and happy. If Alex Oti can bring out the potential, the talent, potentials Abia State have, I'm telling you, that is the greatest thing he must have done so far in the history of Igbo land. I will be grateful. Abba have talent. Abba export shoes, clothing. What is it that you can think of Abba people don't do? What is it? Think about it. Abba will bring it out for you. They have shoes. They're, we have Abba shoes. I can't wear this shoe because it's Abba shoe. They downgrade Abba people. The people of Abia State potential great men and women you need to see the people of abia state you will give them accolade you need to see the people of abia state you will clap for them they deserve accolade i'm happy somebody is about to bring out this talent that we have been shouting for many years this man ruined abia state Nekweha. Nekweha, this one is in the senate after destroying abia state they ran to the senate i'm happy for this good news I am so happy that Abba, Abia State will overtake Lagos. Another thing we need in the East is seaport. Seaport, it is very important. Seaport. The potentials of Igbo people need to come out to limelight. The world needs to see who we are. Yes. The world needs to see who we are. Please, this energy must be maintained. Thank you. I just hope that somebody will not come and close the eyes of Alex Oti because these people are demons. These people are demons. They don't like to see good things. They don't like good news. The next thing you hear is that Abu and Alex Utimba. How can Abia State have 247 electricity? How is it possible when Abuja doesn't have? How can Abia State have 247 electricity when Abuja is still in darkness? When Abuja is still in darkness, when Lagos doesn't have light, how can Abia have? I just hope God doesn't allow such to happen. If not, I like this energy. I love this good news. Lagos need to be humbled. Seaport, please, it is very important. We need seaport in the southeast or any other place like southeast and south south. But we need seaport. Anyhow, it's going to come. But we, do, we just when need seaport you in have that heard what our sister Governor said. Alex, Let's go I to hope this vision and mission in behalf of the state.